On the evening of Wednesday, October 23rd, local filmmakers and their friends and family members arrived at GQT Oxford 7 Theater for ONTV's 11th Wildwood Film Festival. Things actually kicked off on October 17th when 11 teams arrived at the ONTV studio to receive instructions for the film Challenge. Then they had four days to plan, write, shoot, and edit a short film not to exceed 10 minutes in length. On October 22nd, a panel of judges viewed all 11 films and awarded points in categories like cinematography, sound, and editing. The films were shown on the big screen at the film festival and the winners were announced afterwards. And for the first time, two films received the same score and shared the second place award. The team known as the Fab Five earned $75 for their submission, Anatidiphobia, which is the irrational fear of being watched by a duck or goose. team members went to the ONTV meeting to discuss the requirements for our film and I think about half hour to an hour after we all met over teams on the school night for at least hour and a half, two hours and just brainstormed. We wrote down all these ideas and I believe it was our team member Camden who had suggested that we Google anatidophobia. Took us a minute to put that in a talk to text and figure out how to say it. And, um, <laughs> and then, yeah, we crafted that into a whole storyline of someone, you know, having a motive of what to do with their day, but this damn duck keeps following them. And so, yeah. Writing a joke with my friends and then having that on the screen and seeing people laugh made me so happy. I like making people laugh, and it makes me happy to hear that other people were able to laugh at something that we were. And then to hear your team name announced, what was that like? I was surprised. I didn't think we were going to win. I wasn't in this to win. I was just like, oh, Film Fest, I'm going to participate like this. It'll be fun. But seeing that we won, it was just so exciting. It was really crazy because I, I know the movie is like really short compared to all the other ones, but it was just fun seeing like everybody react to it and like, you know, I actually like my work. So that was good. What was your reaction when you heard, okay, there's a tie for second and then your team name was announced? I was not expecting that to be honest. Like I thought we just like did this for fun, honestly, and then like you know like it'd be cool to place, but we didn't actually like I didn't expect me to place, but then we did, and so it's weird that I got placed like tied with the other maze movie, and we got second compared to you know the top movie, which was even greater. So tying for second place was the film Death in Baseball, produced by Vincent Martacci and Cal Green of Cine Films. The team took first place in 2022 and 2023. Dad prioritized you. He saw your talent, your skill. He saw how fierce you were. Your love for the game. Same love that he had for it. I think me and Cal are both kind of dealing with grief this year. And I think that was kind of a trend that we wanted to really focus on. Um, and also we wanted to do something really fun. We liked the idea of uh, having Cal play the same, uh, two people. <laughs> it was really, we thought it would be a really fun thing to do. That's what I say, I actually teach videography at a school and I always say if you have a camera, you're already there. Make films. If you have the time to do this, you should do it. It's super fun being able to make a film within these parameters. Oh, it's a blast. Do it. And named the winner of the 2024 Wildwood Film Festival was the team known as Team One, who produced the film It Just Takes One, about two students who form a friendship after experiencing loss. The first place finish netted them $140. Four years. Four years ago, I lost my best friend in a school shooting. Blake and I became friends playing Little League here. We just got along so well. And over the years, we grew closer and closer and closer, and we just had each other's backs, you know? We wanted to make a film that really kind of just t impacted and touched people, at, you know, that would help just make them feel good in the, at the end of it. Together, collectively, yeah, there is a good background, and we just like to make film. We have the passion for it, so I think we just all hunkered down five days and we we said hey let's let's knock it out let's do what we can and let's make it as good as we can something we want to be proud of and something that people will enjoy watching 
I'm seeing it, and it, it came out better than I could have imagined. It was great, and I had such a fun time filming it. It was great to see us get number one. I was nervous, but it, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> Uh, I was super excited to uh, have everything that we put together over these past five days. It's been very chaotic and uh, like just kind of stressful, really, because it was Monday night. It came down to chop time, and we didn't think we were going to finish it, but we finished it. Yeah, we did, and I was I was just very excited. You know, with the time that we had and the fact that we were able to put out something that we are all so proud of, I think I'm speaking for all of us with that. That you know, it, it felt it felt really good to have five days and just put all our ideas into something and really get one collective piece of art. And it, it was really cool. Congratulations to the winners and to everyone who submitted a film. All of them can be found on YouTube on the Orion ON TV channel. For information about upcoming classes and events or to view videos on demand, you can visit orionontv.org. In Oxford, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ON TV News.